I mean, one thing I tell American people who are like, you really like the NHS? Because Fox News and CNN told us that it's a mess. And I'm like, I'm crazy about it. I think one way that I could be useful to British voters is they could imagine me as sort of a ghost of Christmas future as someone who has experienced a private healthcare system in the United States, and but who has also experienced the wonderful NHS here, which even in its underfunded state is still so vastly superior. You don't want what I grew up with. 17 years ago, I was in a car accident and I got badly hurt and I had to have some surgeries. Under the American private healthcare system, my insurance company, when I started to generate big bills because I'd been in a car accident, they just dropped me and I became responsible for tens of thousands of dollars in bills. And that was terrifying at the age of 25. Then I came over here about five years ago um, with a three-year-old and a one-year-old and my wife, and my wife was pregnant with our son Henry. And a little before Henry's first birthday, he got sick. And we found out that it was a brain tumor. And a very bad one. And the NHS took extraordinary care of him um, he, uh, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted. His cancer progressed and he died. But throughout the 21 months that he was under the care of the NHS, the care that he re received and that our family received was truly unbelievable. As far as I can tell, the NHS is basically the pinnacle of human achievement. If we leave the EU, under the terms of Boris Johnson's disastrous Brexit deal, then the NHS is going to be on the table. Donald Trump is going to give it to Donald Trump Jr. and Eric and Ivanka, and they're going to divvy it up and sell it to private pharmaceutical companies, and the NHS as we know it will be gone. That's a massive reason I support labor. And I support labor enthusiastically and proudly. I don't view it as a choice between Tories and Labour, I view it as a choice. I mean, the real choice in this election, the two sides are the billionaires, the millionaires who work for billionaires, and newspaper owners, like what, four of them? That's one side, and the other side is the rest of us, the people who use the NHS and depend on it. The disabled kid whose parents aren't wealthy and depends on social care, okay? That's who this election is about.